What's going on everyone? Raider here, back with another video, and today we're going to learn how to install custom fonts on your Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. This will work with most other Galaxy devices as well. We're going to cover two different ways. One is the easy way, which I think most of you already know of. It's actually the best way, but unfortunately we don't get too many fonts offered to us. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first way first. You want to go into your phone settings. All right, we're going to go down to display. And then you're going to scroll down until you see font size and style. And then we'll go ahead and pick font style. And then we're going to tap on download fonts. Now what this does is it curates a list of available TTF, which is true type fonts from the Samsung Galaxy Store. And it's going to curate both the free and paid versions of the fonts. And you'll see here up top, we have top, top paid, top free. So if we go into free and take a look at our options, you get a few but it's not that many, but this may be enough for you and it is the easiest way to get fonts installed on your device. So let's go ahead and try out Rosemary real quick. We'll go ahead and hit the install button there, tap on install, give it just a minute to finish up, and then we need to hit the apply button to wrap it up. And there you'll see Rosemary has been added to our list. And if we want to go back to our original font, we just go to default. All right, now let's check out an app that lets us install any font that we want. And the interesting thing is, is the app we're about to check up is not designed to work with One UI 6.0 and 6.1, but we're going to make it work. Let's go ahead and head out to the Google Play Store. You want to search for ZFont3, and it's this application right here. All right, so we have ZFont3 Emoji and Font Changer. Let's go ahead and install it. I'm going to walk you through all the steps because there's one critical step that you can't get wrong or this does not work at all. All right, let's go ahead and open up the application. It's going to give you a little disclaimer here about agreeing to its terms and conditions. Now it's letting us know that it needs access to our notifications. We'll go ahead and grant that. All right. Then we'll pass through this What's New dialog. And here's the main screen here. We have Home, Category, Downloads. So what we can do here is pick out any font that we're interested in. In my case, I'm going to pick Stylish Fonts here. All right, and that gives us a full list of all these different fonts that you can choose from. It throws some ads in the middle there. What do you expect? It's a free app. So let's go ahead and pick out something that looks unique so we can easily see the difference. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on Snake here. Now we'll go ahead and tap on Download, and then we're going to hit Apply. All right, now it's asking us what OS we're using. And we're using One UI, but unfortunately, this will not work if you pick this with One UI 6 and 6.1. Go ahead and pick on Auto. And we're going to hit OK. So now it's asking us for a base font that it's going to override. This is all going to make sense in a little bit. Let's go ahead and pick Samsung Sans. And now we're going to hit build. And this is going to build an APK for the font in the background. So we had to sit through a pesky ad there. I do get tired of that stuff. I did notice when using this application on the Z Fold 5, I got like no ads at all before shooting this video. So that's kind of weird, just throwing that out there. So we do have a few steps that we need to follow. These first steps are the prerequisites. We need to do this one time and one time only. And then once we do that, we're just going to follow these steps right here each time we want to download and install a new font. So let's go ahead and start from the top. All right, the first one is to install Samsung Sans. So you'll notice here that we're going to need a separate file manager that allows us to install packages. So we're going to install the Z File Manager. It's a real lightweight app. It's no big deal. Google Play Store. We'll go out to it real quick, hit install. You don't need to open it up or anything like that. Once we're done, we'll go ahead and go back. And now that that file manager is installed, we can go ahead and tap on this first option again. And now we have a package installer. So let's go ahead and pick on that. And we'll go ahead and go to settings to allow the permissions. All right, toggle that on, install, and done. All right, great. So we're gonna go back a screen. And now we're gonna go to step number two. All right, change a font style. So it told us to change to Samsung Sans. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And now it says your Samsung account must be signed in. I have my account details hidden, but you can see here we are signed into my account. And now we need to back up our settings data only. So let's go ahead and go into here. We'll go ahead and hit the apply button. And now we're going to uncheck all of these except for settings. All right, just go through one at a time. Make sure there's nothing else. No, we have apps down here. All right, so we just have our settings. We're gonna go ahead and back this up. All right, we'll go ahead and hit done. We'll go back a screen. And now we need to uninstall Samsung Sans. So this is basically taking the base font, 
replacing it with this new one that it's going to allow us to replace any font we want with and it's overriding the Samsung Sans font in order to achieve this. So it's basically taking over the base font. So we're going to install Samsung's version of it, Samsung Sans. Hit OK here real quick. All right, it uninstalled it. So now we're on to the main steps of actually installing this font. So let's go ahead and install it. Package installer, install. All right, so it gives us a little bit of a warning here, letting us know that our content's blocked. That's because our S24 Ultra or whatever Galaxy device you're using is trying to protect your security. So you go ahead and hit more details and it's gonna allow us to install anyway. All right, there it goes. All right, we are done. Now we need to change our font style to default. All right, let's do that real quick. Go to default. And now we need to restore data. So let's go ahead and go into here. All right. And now we're gonna pick the most recent backup that we just took. All right, so it's gonna be this one right here. And we're gonna unselect all of these and we're gonna tell it just to restore the settings. All right, I know there's a lot of steps here, but it's not really that big a deal. We're about done. So let's go ahead and hit restore. All right, now at this point, if you are on a device that's on One UI 6 or One UI 6.1, like this S24 Ultra here, do not continue in the application. However, if you're on an older device, go ahead and hit done and you'll be finished. All right, so if you are on a newer device running One UI 6 or 6.1, don't hit done. We're gonna go down here and we need to restart our phone. All right, let's go ahead and do that real quick. All right, so the phone is restarting and this is basically gonna override the Samsung Sans font with the new font that we just applied for it. Oh, wow, I can see it already. All right, it looks pretty crazy. So let's go ahead and check this out when it loads up. And check it out. There's our snake font right here applied to the entire system. We'll take a look at this in settings real quick. Look at that. All right, we've got it all set. And if we go back to our fonts here to take a look at what that looks like, font style and size, or font size and style, I should say, and like we mentioned about the base font, it basically is overriding the Samsung Sans font with Snake. So it's going to do that for any fonts that you want to use. So if we go back into the application, you'll see here that we have a lot of different font styles to choose from. You know, there's a lot of ways to get creative with this. And the other cool thing too is if we go into downloads, it's basically going to create little subdirectories of where it stores these fonts. And you can hop online onto any website you want that has free TTF fonts and just pop them over into these folders and they're gonna show up in this list and you can install them in the same way. And here's one more thing about this application before we wrap it up. If you don't feel comfortable with any of this and things are just getting a little bit out of bounds, you can go ahead and go back to your default font. This is gonna walk you through going back to your defaults. Here you go, a clever little way to get custom fonts installed on the latest versions of Samsung's One UI. If you have any questions or comments about today's video, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time, and as always, thanks for watching.